Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing the unboxing for the Skill Tassaw 7 inch. Uh, it's the model number 3540-02. This is a wet towel saw. We should do the unboxing and see how this thing goes. And I'm gonna have another video afterwards to let you know how durable and easy this thing was to use. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So let's see what's in the box. We got our instruction manual. Okay. We got our tile cutter. Interesting. Looks like we put the, what is this, guides. All right, we'll see how we use those. Your blade. And tile cutter, I guess the guide as well to line up your tile with the blade that should be right there. And that is it. So these square pieces, they go into these uh, channels right here, both sides. Okay. Make sure you unscrew these uh, the side knobs to get them to line up, and then to lock them to lock them in position. Just easiest lock uh, tightening the knobs. And now you can cut whatever width of tile or length that you want. You just move it up and down. And the good thing is you have measurements here. All right, so what do we have? We have the um, top guard with the uh, top guard arm, which is this metal piece right here. Uh, this tool will become, this wrench will become very handy for uh, changing your blade or tighten, tightening the blade basically. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. This is not provided, you have to get your own. And the last item here is this uh, miter gauge. You already saw me putting the uh, rip fence already on the machine, and that's already on there. So what we're gonna do is take the cover off so we can actually get to where we have to install this blade. So there's two screws on the side, okay? And just take this cover right off, slide. Just one of the flanges you need the other one there that's your guide otherwise it just it's not gonna hold it it's not gonna line up with the edge of this uh, cutting well not the cutter uh, the spacing or the slot for the blade the blade does have an arrow so basically match the arrow here to the blade arrow and just install the blade on it okay install your flange there's like a See the way it's shaped, it's kind of like ovalish, or like a racetrack. Uh, this piece here also has the same design, so it locks it in place. Okay, put your nut back on. Remember to use your wrench to tighten it. You don't want this thing coming loose, right? Hold your blade and just tighten it as tight as possible. All right guys, so these two screws on the top guard, they gotta come all the way out because what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the top guard underneath this piece with a hole are, and then you're gonna put your screws on top of these. So this will be sitting underneath and then you'll be able to tighten it to stay in place and then you should be able to open and close your guard or even lower it and raise it over the blade. So the miter gauge basically just sits right on top of your uh, rip fence right here. 
and then um, to adjust the angle, it's got an indicator from zero degrees all the way up to 45. Okay, 45 degrees and then back again to zero on the other side. And you can, once you set it, you just lock it by adjusting, tightening the knob on top. And that's it. I'm not really sure if this is supposed to move like this. I don't see a way of locking it in place. All right, and I say that's basically it. Um, for the machine itself, you have to add water. There's a level indicator. I don't know if you can see it. If you look over here, there are, there are two lines. All right, so you have that water before you cut any tiles. You have a, a minimum amount of water for the blade and a maximum. When you get to your minimum, add more water. Make sure you have the maximum level right here on this line. So we set up our reference at five inches, five inches and basically 3 16th. Uh, we already marked up our tile and we got this locked in place. Yeah, that's it. Once you got it locked in place, make sure you have water in there for the blade up to the level and you're all set. All right, so when you're cutting your tile, make sure that black plastic guard is lowered. Uh, just enough where it's not touching the blade but where it's hovering over it that way you minimize the amount of spraying that you're getting on you um, I didn't have it low enough so that's why I'm getting all wet over there so just remember that when you're cutting your tiles